I am the hotel general manager. I have been part of the Coppola Hideaways for 15 years now. And back in June 2022, I uh, was called by Mr. F, as I dearly call him, to see if I was interested in managing the hotel for him. All Movie Hotel uh, becomes the first Coppola Hideaway within the US. The hotel was actually a day's in back in 2022 and the idea uh, of Mr. F was to use it for his filming crew and cast while he was in Georgia um, doing the filming of Megalopolis which is his last film. I'm born and raised in Georgia and I'm affiliated with the All Movie Hotel because I worked on Megalopolis and then I became Francis's assistant in post-production which led to me sort of helping with developing this space for the needs that that production had when we transitioned out of filming at Trollet Studios over to this space. I think the thing with working with Francis is that you end up working on 18 different projects. Sometimes you're working on a film, sometimes you're working on a hotel, and each one of them is as considered and as focused as the other. Georgia kind of becomes a space that's very focused on making other films. And I thought what was really exciting was the idea that Atlanta's boomed and, and Georgia's become this wonderful Hollywood of the South, as people say, but there's so little in terms of seeing a film through to the very end. And so it was just very exciting to me. And the idea of merging that with a hotel, I thought was just crazy and very cool. And Mr. F it was very much involved in the design, in the structure, in the decors of All Movie Hotel. So if you walk around the hotel, you will see this ceramic pot, pots that he um, designed and he had them shipped from Italy. And uh, you see they have succulents, that's exactly what he wanted. From the games that you see in the corridors as well, um, and many things that you know were curated by him. So he was very much involved we have on site an editorial wing which is attached to our screening room which we're in right now and that has two editorial bays that are built out with um, properly calibrated screens for color, wonderful Meyer speakers so they can actually do any kind of editorial as they work in that space and all that's connected as well to a booth for recording sound called an ADR booth. It's got a floating structure where the drywall never touches the corners of the room, so there's no reverberation. It's completely dampened, completely soundproof. This room that we're in right now is our screening room. And this is where the film was not only edited in a, in a large portion, but also this is a mix stage. So we have full surround sound speakers, and then the entire mix of the Megalopolis was actually done in this space. We were actually able to do a full Dolby Atmos mix in this room that was correspondent to being able to be played in IMAX theaters. Or even scoring, we actually have a piano in the corner and our composer was able to do live little piece of music for Francis in this space. And then lastly, we do have on site a soundstage for filming, which has railing on the ceiling, 360 blue screen uh, wraparound and um, Kino flows attached to the ceiling for full lighting of that space. So Mr. Francis, he wants people to feel that they're, you know, that they're welcome, that they're entering a home of someone. And that's the reason why when you enter the uh, lobby, we call it the living area, there's not really a reception. We want them to feel that they're entering a home with a little uh, welcome towel, a coffee, you know, some sparkling water. All the rooms have different themes. If you have the opportunity to um, enter his room, the theme that he has there is uh, of the great woman actresses, and he has many uh, things that are very dear to him. When you're walking onto a studio lot, you feel like you're in a place where dreams are made. And that very much went into the design of this place as well. In fact, when you go around the premises of the old movie hotel, you can actually see different props and set decoration that were in the film that we incorporate into the design of the space. The big frame in the living area, it's a replica of uh, the wedding scene of uh, The Godfather 2. The big rug that you find as soon as you enter the lobby area, that was a, a gift. Um, so things like this are things that he wants here. Uh, the Dustin Hoffman and the John Voight statues up front by the patio. They were selected by him. You're gonna find all these things that he wants. 
you fall in love with this community and I can see why it's, it's easy you know to fall in love with this place the fact that you know he could get on his golf cart and just um, drive off to the stores nearby and everyone's so friendly just waving people talk about southern hospitality all the time but you know you live in LA and it's you know bumper to bumper traffic you go to New York and people are yelling at you on the streets and that's what Francis always was upset about was you know that he felt like he couldn't have neighbors in the places where films are made that he couldn't ride around and wave to people in the morning and say hello and and feel like he was part of a community and that's the thing that he loved about the space is that this place actually feels like it's accommodating for newcomers and everyone else that lives here otherwise it's just very homey